In this video, I want to prove the divergence theorem. This is another fundamental theorem of uh, vector calculus. It's called the divergence theorem because it tells you that a volume integral over the divergence of a vector field is equal to the surface integral over the surface that encloses that volume of uh, the vector field dotted into ds. Okay, um, I should point out that this is a fundamental theorem because what it does is it's reducing a triple integral here, which is a volume integral, into a double integral, which is a uh, surface integral. So just like the fundamental theorem of calculus reduces a single integral into a, just a valuation of the function itself. Okay, so let's, uh, to prove the general result, we first prove a very specific result, and then I'll show you how uh, using that specific result we can uh, put them all together to get the general result. So let's prove this specific result. So I want to prove the divergence theorem for this box. Uh, for convenience, I put the one corner of the box at the origin. So it's just in the positive x, positive y, and positive z direction. x goes between 0 and a, y between 0 and b, and z between 0 and c. So let's write down what this is. So the integral over this box of del dot u dv is a triple integral over del dot u. So this is um, du1 dx plus du2 dy plus du3 dz. And then integrated over the volume, so we have a dx dy dz. x goes from 0 to a, y goes from 0 to b, and z goes from 0 to c. Okay? Uh, we have to apply the fundamental theorem of calculus here to move these to... Um, to double integrals instead of triple integrals. So the uh, first term, the du1 dx term, we can integrate dx, right? And then we can change the order, and the du2 dy term, we can integrate dy. And then we can change the order for the third term and integrate dz. So I'm going to write this as three integrals. So we have the uh, the first term, I'm going to integrate dx first. So we have the integral from 0 to c, the integral from 0 to b, of du1 dx. Um, sorry, also the integral from 0 to a of du1 dx times dx dy dz. So the x integral goes first plus the triple integral, uh, 0 to c. And then the second one, I want to do the, uh, so the dz is the same, but I want to integrate du2 dy dy, and then integrate dx dz. So z goes from 0 to c. Uh, x goes from 0 to a, and y goes from 0 to b. So I changed the order of integration because I know how to integrate du2 dy dy using the fundamental theorem of calculus. And then the third one will be a triple integral. And then we have du3 dz. I want to integrate dz first and then dx dy. So z goes from 0 to c, x uh, goes from 0 to a, and y goes from 0 to b. 
Okay, so what have we got? So we can do the, we can do the inner integral on all of these using the fundamental theorem of calculus. The, derivative, the integral of a derivative is just a function. We have to evaluate it at the limits. So the integral from 0 to a of du1 dx dx is u1 of a minus u1 of 0. So here we have the integral from 0 to c, the integral from 0 to b, and then we have u1 at x equals a. So a y z minus u1 at x equals 0, 0 y z. And we still have a dy dz integral. Okay, so that's the first integral. Uh, I'm going to run out of space here, but let's try and make it compact. The second integral, we can integrate dy. So we have a double integral here of uh, 0 to c, 0 to a. And then we have the integral of u, du2 dy dy will be a u2 at x b z minus u2 of x 0 z. And then we're still integrating dx dz. And then finally, the last piece will be, uh, we still have a double integral from 0 to b and 0 to a. We integrate z now, so we have a u3 of x, y, z equals c minus u3 of x, y, z equals 0, and we still have a dx, d y. Okay, it looks complicated, but actually it is not that complicated. We're integrating del dot u dv over the volume of this um, cube. Del dot u is just the sum of the partial derivatives. This is a uh, simple rectangular integral, so from x goes from 0 to a, y goes from 0 to b, z goes from 0 to c. Uh, each of these derivatives we can integrate one time, but we have to integrate the first one over x, the second one over y, and the third one over z. We're allowed to switch the order of integration. So I do that, and then I use the fundamental theorem of calculus to integrate. Okay, uh, what do we have here? This first term, is um, these, each of these terms now is a surface integral. Um, if we look at this first term, this u1a of yz corresponds to the x equals a face, right? So let me just look at this one. This front face here, right? This face here is the x equals a face. And then this face back here is the x equals 0 face, right? Uh, this one should be, sorry, this, the 3D picture doesn't look good. That one there, okay? So this one is the front face here. So the front and the back face. So this is uh, u1 evaluated at the front face times dy dz. Here, ds in this front face, right? In this front face, ds is equal to the outward-facing normal vector, which is i, times dy dz. So i times dy dz is ds. So u dot ds picks out u1 because of the i here, picks out u1. And the ds will, be, will include the dy dz. 
On the other hand, the opposite face in the back is, uh, corresponds to x equals 0. Here, x equals 0. The uh, ds for this back face is negative i dy dz because it's pointing in the negative x direction. So we get a minus sign u1 of 0 yz, and we're still integrating dy dz. So this first integral here is the integral over the surface u dot ds corresponding to the x equals a face and the x equals 0 face. The second integral here is the integral over the surface u dot ds corresponding to the y equals b face and the y equals 0 face. The unit vectors are in opposite direction. And this third integral here, uh, corresponding to um, uh, z equals c and z equals 0, corresponds to the top and bottom face. So the top face has the z, has the normal vector in the positive z direction. The bottom face has a normal vector, uh, vector in the negative z direction. So this whole thing then, if I, I bring it up here, is equal to the integral over the surface of u dot ds. Okay, I hope I convinced you that that's correct for this particular box. Okay, so how do you get from a box like this to the full divergence theorem, which is true for any uh, volume that uh, has a surface surrounding the volume? As long as u has no, uh, u is differentiable, has no singularities inside, okay? So that's an important uh, caveat. Uh, but we're talking here about uh, differentiable functions. Um, how do we get to a general surface enclosing a volume? <clears throat> well, if you have a general surface enclosing a volume, you can break that up into a bunch of uh, infinitesimal cubes. Okay, and then you can do the divergence theorem across every of every one of those small cubes. Uh, it doesn't matter that we place the cube at the origin; the cube can be anywhere. This generalizes. Um, what happens is that the volume integrals all add, but the surface integrals for the surfaces inside of that volume the surface integrals all cancel. You have a surface normal this way on one cube, and then the adjacent cube has a surface normal exactly in the opposite direction. So you get a plus contribution and a minus contribution from the same surface. So all those internal surfaces cancel, and all you have left is the external surface that has nothing to cancel with. So the volume integral of del dot u dv, all the volumes add, is equal to the surface integral of u dot ds. All the internal surfaces cancel, and you just have left the external surface that's surrounding the entire volume. Okay, so let me review. In this video, I tried to give a uh, rigorous proof of the divergence theorem for a cube with the axes aligned. And then I'm trying to, uh, by waving my hands, generalize that proof to an arbitrary uh, surface enclosing a volume, okay? There's no point in this course being rigorous about the generalization. So what we have is a fundamental theorem, the integral of the volume, del dot u dv, is equal to the integral over the surface u dot ds. Uh, this theorem is uh, satisfied as long as uh, u is differentiable inside the volume, or u is, uh, is a, uh, a nice function on the surface. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.